Good afternoon. My name is Brian Guerrero, and I'm a member of the Building Skin Practice. The largest Chinese internet corporation, Tencent Inc., held an international competition to select an architectural team that would design their new headquarters in Shenzhen. The architecture firm of MBBJ Los Angeles invited Thornton Tomasetti to participate as teammates. Through the course of a six-week design exercise, the team developed the 225-meter linked dual tower design. To quote MBBJ, the scheme titled Synergy Tower broaches the idea of spontaneous and serendipitous encounters. In winning results, the design was chosen by Tencent and partnered with MBBJ, our building skin practice entered a whirlwind design schedule. The innovative scheme calls for a traditional sprawled corporate campus to be reshuffled into a vertical integrated work play organization. And those are the spaces to fit the dense urban setting that is Shenzhen. Reflective of the hyperactivity within the building's interior, the facade design calls for a very visually active aesthetic. So enters a series of challenges. Extensive use of modeling programs and detailed drawings allowed our team to develop the building skin systems through a rapid pace of just seven months. There are 15 skin systems with a wide array of design and engineering challenges. And within the 15 systems, there are three featured custom complex facades. Breaking down the building, envelope system by system, we have double story and single story curtain walls, inward and outward sloping curtain walls, exterior louvers at the links, steel mask glazing walls, two cable net glass walls, glass skylights, and ETFE membrane roofs. So to elaborate on the three principal enclosure systems, first there are sawtooth shaped curtain wall panels that cover the prominent south facade and extend outwards by 1.5 meters from the building structure. So this creates a textured aesthetic and supports sustainability objectives, providing self-shading to reduce energy consumption during the hot summers. Using Rhino and structural analysis software, we met the challenge of designing box frames that are easy to fabricate, assemble, hoist, and install. Steel frame chassis with integrated curtain wall components lining the top, bottom, and sides of the steel with male-female mullions. Built out from the steel frame chassis with insulated side panels, there's tilted glass. Second, elevated from the lobby, the cultural link is capped by a long span ETFE roof skylight as a fabric membrane enclosure. To support the Atria ETFE, we designed and engineered a 42 meter length truss system. The architect's design calls for an equilateral triangle module of ETFE pillows. And looking at this in ETFE in section, you can see each module comprises of three layers of ETFE, which we refer to as foils, and form a pillow. A closer look at the mullion illustrates that the specialty components of the air supply hose, edge ropes of the pillow captured by the aluminum extrusion, and even bird deterrent devices in the center above the mullion. Lastly, our third principal enclosure system, a cable net wall which point supports the lobby glass. Engineering of a cable net wall is highly specialized. Pre-tensioning of vertical and horizontal cables to resist high wind pressures introduces large loads into the perimeter building steel. The process was highly iterative. And as we tried to balance vertical and horizontal cable sizes and diameter, while pursuing a very minimalist aesthetic. Locating the vertical cable away from the glass and then the horizontal cable away from the vertical cable optimized the size of the clamp fittings and gave the architect a chance to change or, and fit the detail to their desire. So our fundamental keys to success were found in our deep and diverse building skin experience where team members came from both contractor and consultant backgrounds. Due to the compressed design schedule, we met with MBBJ on a weekly basis 
and our workshops would regularly run at least a half day long. And even today with all the progressive video conference and screen sharing software, there's no replacement for sitting side by side with the architect and sketching through issues until you find a solution. And lastly, most certainly not least, MBBJ was a highly collaborative architect and they made real-time decisions. They realized that each hour was critical and they made design decisions on the spot. And I think looking back, this is what I appreciated about the experience the most. Thank you.